Hi guys, it's Katie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a kind of different tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do two really easy beginner embroidery stitches. I am doing this today because Christmas is coming up. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. And a really cute gift idea is a personalized piece of clothing like a hoodie or pants or things like that that have little embroidered um, things on it. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do this. So it's pretty easy. Um, all you need is your embroidery thread and the article of clothing or the piece of fabric that you're embroidering on. And something that makes it a lot easier is one of these hoops like an embroidery hoop or whatever it's called um, that pulls your fabric nice and tight. So let's get into it. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a French knot and a lazy daisy stitch. So together this will make like a really cute little just daisy type embroidered flower. So first to set up um, you need your fabric and I just drew a little daisy and now I'm going to set up the string first stitch that we're going to learn is the French knot. So I'm going to be using this yellow embroidery floss and to just set it up you're going to, I'm just going to do a double knot at the end and I'm going to make it as close to the end as I can. So that it's a nice double knot. Then we're going to thread it through this needle. So I just like to kind of lick the ends and then flatten it with my finger. So this is just going to be a little short piece because all we're doing is one little knot. So you're going to take your fabric you have and your little daisy and you're going to put the needle up through the center where you would like the center of the daisy to be. So then you're just going to pull, tug, tug. Then you're going to take your string to the left, take your needle, wrap it around once, twice, then back down through the same, like really close to the spot where you put it through at first. Then you're going to hold this string on the left for a little while just so that it's tight and then let go. And there is your little French knot. So it's not really in the center, it's kind of off to the side, but that's okay. So now that I have that done, I'm just gonna flip this over and I'm just going to cut it off. You can tie a knot at the end if you would like, but it's kind of already a knot, so it's good enough. So I have the first part of your little daisy done. Okay, now I'm going to be doing the lazy daisy stitch. So, I'm going to have a little longer of a piece. I'm going to do a green daisy. I already tied off the knot at the end, and we're just going to thread this through the needle. So we're going to take this daisy that we drew, and I'm just going to go in right here where the top of the first petal is. So just go to the inside of the first petal. And then you pull that tight, like that. Then you go back down right next to where you just came in through. But don't pull it all the way through. So you have this little loop like that. Then you're going to go up through the bottom of the petal. And you're going to go straight up through this little loop that you created. And pull that tight. And then you're going to go just right next to where you just were so that it goes over the thread to kind of chain it down in a way or secure it. So it looks like this. So we're going to do that all the way around. So go to the top. Go to the side of where you just came through. 
don't pull all the way through, leave a little loop. Then go on the bottom of the petal, through the loop, more tight, and secure it down. And your second petal is done. Next one. So here we have our little daisy. So clearly I'm not perfect. So I have this little mistake right here and this is obviously not completely in the middle. Um, we're just gonna do another one so that you can see it and so that maybe I have an opportunity to make it a little better. So I'm just going to draw another daisy on the fabric and get my thread all set up and I'll see you in a second. Okay, I have my second daisy drawn and this time I did less petals so that I have more of a chance to make them all even. That is pretty much the goal. That's what makes it look the best so that's why um, drawing it out is really helpful. I'm going to do the French knot again. We're just going to come up through the center like that. Roll it through and then pull the string to the left go once, go twice, and then go back through where you just came from while still holding this little loop right here to make sure that it stays tight. And there's your little knot. So now we're just going to cut that off. And we're going to get our new string for the petals. So this time I'm going to be using this orange string. So let's just start with the lazy daisy stitches. So we're going to go through up the top of the petal. Back down. And then the bottom of the petal. Through that loop. And then secure it. Like that. And we're done! There's our little daisy. So now I'm going to show you guys how I just do the little stem and maybe one or two little leaves using the Lazy Daisy Stitch. So I'm going to be using the same green as in here for this flower stem. So I'm just going to come up at the bottom of the daisy where I want the stem to start. And of course you can trace out what you want the stem to be um, first. So then I'm gonna just go back down so that there's just one straight line for the stem. And then I'm going to do a little lazy daisy stitch right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go up, down, and 
And then I'm going to put my needle through where I want the top of the leaf to be. Go through that little loop like that. And secure it like that. So that you have a little leaf. Ta-da! I'm gonna add one more leaf. And I'm gonna do it pretty small. I'm just gonna do it right here, kind of in the middle. And that's a pretty cute little tiny leaf. So there's a big leaf, there's a little leaf, and then all the petals and the French knot. The way that I like to secure it is I go back through a stitch that I just did, like that with my needle, and then I do a little knot, or two, like that, and then there's your little daisy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you want to see more videos of me and comment what you want to see next. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!